Have you ever judged someone based on how they dressed in public and or anywhere else? If you have, you most likely did. And if you say you don't, that's not true because you're subconsciously always making slight judgments on how people are dressed and how you perceive them. For example, if you see me wearing like a button down collared shirt like this, you might be thinking, oh, like he's more kind of casual, very, you know, chill, maybe more like on a higher end. But if you see me change from this to this, wearing a watermelon shirt, how do you think you perceive me now? Some guy wearing a watermelon shirt. It's kind of bright. You might perceive me a different way now compared to me dressing with the dress shirt. So let's just go back to the dress shirt right now. Now I'm wearing, wearing this button down college shirt. And the reason why I want to just do this quick swap in outfits was because how you dress and how others perceive you is going to really dictate your reality. For example, if someone, if someone sees you that like, oh, he's well, well dressed, he's really well met, most likely he will think, oh, he's really well mannered, he's very professional. But if you're dressing in a way that's really not professional, nothing classy, nothing that really is, I would say, not too casual, like maybe like pajamas or anything like that, that's going to definitely lower your positioning, which is how your your power in regards to who is going to be higher than others. For example, if you see someone that's wearing a professional outfit, like a suit, compared to someone that's wearing pajamas out in public, who do you think is more authoritative and more in power or has more power in a way? It's, some, it's someone dressed well, someone dressed in a suit. And when you dress in a way that's like kind of like in PJs, you know, really oversized t-shirts or anything like that, you are seen as someone that has lower positioning and doesn't seem to have like a lot of value. And it's just like these small judgments that people make that really could dictate on where people see you as for like the rest of their day, for the rest of their week, rest of the year, however it is. It's just, you have to be consistent with how you dress yourself to really raise up your positioning. And the way how you present yourself, it could be through grooming, through clothing. All that makes the biggest difference on how people will perceive you and how much your positioning will level out. So if you want someone that's higher positioning, you want to dress up in a fairly nice manner, professional manner. People that are businessmen, they're always wearing suits, ties, dress pants, and nice shoes. But if you want someone with lower positioning, you just dress something that's casual, like a normal t-shirt, has a lot of logos on it, wearing jeans, and just regular sneakers like that. That would just demonstrate lower positioning compared to someone that's really dressing up really well up here. So that's my little video for you guys today. Just how you dress or how you groom yourself in a way will actually dictate how other people will see you in those slight minutes seconds. It's like those, it'll be those slight judgments that will actually affect your, how you are perceived for your overall person and which is also your brand at the same time because everyone has their own brand. So you want to make yourself that you're perceived as someone that's higher with higher value than compared to someone's lower value. So that's my little video for you guys today. And if you guys like this video, give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button down below. And if you have any questions on branding, positioning, or how you are uh, demonstrating yourself, let me know in the comments box below. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.